This week on World Traveler Cooking, we're going to take a look at two classic French sauces, Hollandaise and Bernays. These are closely related, so it seemed worth doing them together. Um, so uh, you can see both how they're similar and how they're different. Hollandaise is considered a mother sauce. In other words, uh, a sauce from which other sauces are derived in French cuisine. Well, uh, Bernays is considered to be a daughter sauce of Hollandaise. We'll see why that is. Um, in fact, uh, you can see Bernays sauce as being basically a Hollandaise, but uh, with some herbs and stuff added. Now, um, similarly, for the Bernays, we have um, 180 gram, 170 grams of butter, rather. Um, instead of the lemon juice, we're going to use a reduction of white wine and vinegar. Normally you would use white wine vinegar, but I can't find any at the store here, so I'm using red wine vinegar. This might discolor the sauce a little bit. We'll see. If we end up with a sauce that's a little bit pink, well, that's because of the vinegar. It would be, perhaps, um, that wouldn't be a problem with white wine vinegar. Um, and then, um, in this reduction, we will cook uh, some tarragon and um, some shallots. Now, uh, Indonesian shallots are really small, so I'm using eight or ten of them. Uh, you would use two uh, Western shallots. So, those are all the ingredients. Um, I guess, uh, pretty shortly, we will get started. So I've added my sprig of tarragon to my pot. I am going to now pour in my vinegar. And we're going to notice about how much liquid there is because that's our target for where to reduce this to. And then on top of that, I'm going to add my wine. Then I'm going to put this on the heat and I'm going to boil it until it reduces back to approximately where the vinegar was. So here you can see we have just a, a few tablespoons of liquid left. Uh, I'm going to run this through a sieve next and uh, we'll gather as much of the liquid as we can out of this um, and then we'll set it aside, we'll come back in a few to uh, finish off the sauce. <clears throat> so uh, at this point I'm uh, going ahead and I'm melting my butter and heating it up a bit and once the butter is hot I'll be ready to take the next step. So the next step is I'm going to put my uh, wine vinegar reduction in there and I'm going to add four egg yolks. So I'm going to separate four eggs. I'm going to put the yolks in the I'll put the yolks in the um, cup there. So the easy way to do this is with a hand blender. Some people do use a whisk, but uh, I'm just going to take it here and I'm going to blend this out a little bit. And then while I'm blending it, I'm just going to slowly add the butter. Let me take that spoon out of there. See, we have a nice emulsion forming. Delicious. So um, next, uh, I'm just going to put a little bit on a plate with um, maybe a little bit of fish, and then uh, we'll do the taste test. So now I'm going to try just a little bit of uh, the sauce on some fish.
this really elevates the fish. Um, the sauce is buttery, tangy, just really delicious. Um, the sauce as I made it is a little bit on the thin side, but uh, as it cools down, of course, it thickens right up. If you're serving it much hotter, then you can very gently heat it up a little bit and um, uh, and uh, thicken it that way. Now, if you find this content interesting, I hope I've earned a like and a subscription from you. And please check out my Patreon page where you can get access to uh, videos three to six months before they become um, generally published. Um, if you make these sorts of sauces and you do it differently, I'd love to hear how in the comments. Recipes in the description. Bon appetit and see you next week.